Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I want us to work some very easy proportion word problems. I put together four different word problems. Here's the first one. I'm going to read it to you, and when I'm done, I want you to pause the video and see if you can solve it by yourself. When you've done solving it, then go ahead and unpause the video and check your answer. Emily can run 100 meters in 20 seconds. She competed in a 400 meter race. How many seconds did it take her to run that race? Pause your video now. Did you get 80? If you did, go ahead and fast forward to problem two, but if you didn't, watch how to get that answer. So I look at this problem and I see that I'm comparing meters to seconds. So here's my word fraction meters to seconds. And I see from the first ratio, she went 100 meters in 20 seconds. And I'm trying to find out how many seconds it would take. So this is the answer I'm trying to find. Did it take her to run that race if she ran 400 meters? Well, I'm gonna go from what I know to what I don't know. I know both the top and the bottom over here, so I'm gonna go from here to here. I see that the number is getting bigger, so I know it's multiplication. And 100 times four is 400. Whatever I do to the top, I'm gonna to do to the bottom. And then 20 times four is 80. The correct answer was 80. Here's problem two. Mrs. Freifeld's grand dogs eat eight pounds of dog food every five days. How many pounds of dog food do they eat in 40 days? Pause the video now and see if you can solve this. Did you get 64? If you did, fast forward to problem three. But if you didn't, watch how to get that answer. Mrs. Freifeld's grand dogs eat eight pounds of dog food every five days. So how many pounds of dog food do they eat in 40 days? Well, I'm comparing pounds of dog food, pounds of food to days. I go back up into my problem and I see that they eat eight pounds of dog food in five days. So this is my first ratio. And then I go to the question and I see they want to know how many pounds of dog food will they eat in 40 days. So I'm going to put the 40 on the day row, which is at the bottom. And now I'm going to go from what I know to what I don't. Well, I know this side, so I'm going to go from here to here. The number is getting bigger, so I'm going to multiply. 5 times 8 is 40. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. 8 times 8 is 64. So my answer is 64. Here's problem 3. The student council is putting on a dance. For every five people that come to the party, they need to buy two bags of chips. How many chips would they need if 150 people came to the party? Pause the video and see if you can solve this by yourself. Then go ahead and unpause it and check your answer when you're done. Pause now. Did you get 60? If you did, fast forward to problem four. But if you didn't, watch how I got that answer. I look at the question, and the question is, how many chips would they need if 150 people came to the party? So I'm comparing chips to people. Chips to people. I'm going to look up here into the, the, quest, the problem and find out what my initial ratio is. And I see that I have, for every five people, it's going to go on the bottom, on the people row. 
they're going to need two bags of chips. So I put that on the top row. And now this 150 right here, it goes on the bottom row because it's talking about people. And I need to figure out what it is that I need for the top. I'm going to go from what I know to what I don't. I know it's getting bigger, so I know I need to multiply, but I'm not totally sure how to find that number. So I'm going to do the opposite of multiplication. I'm going to divide to find that missing number. 150 divided by 5. I can't get any groups of 5 out of 1. Down comes my 5. I can get 3 groups of 5 out of 15. And down comes my zero. I can get zero groups of five out of zero. So I find that I'm multiplying by 30. That's the missing number. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So I'm multiplying it by 30. 30 times two is 60. 60 was the number I'm looking for. Here's the last problem, problem number four. At a soccer game, the ratio of adults to students was three to five. There were 150 students at the game. How many adults were at the soccer game? I want you to pause the video and see if you can solve it by yourself. When you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Did you get 90? If you did, you're done. If you didn't, watch and see how I got that answer. I see that the most important word here is ratio. It's a key word and it tells me that adults is going to be on the top and students is going to be on the bottom. It also tells me that the first number is, has to be on the top and the second one, the one on the bottom, has to be second, because this is another way of writing a ratio. So it says that there's 150 students. That 150 is going to be on the student row. It wants to know how many adults are going to be at that soccer game. Well, I'm going to go from what I know to what I don't. So I'm going to go from here to here. It's getting bigger, so I'm going to multiply but I'm not sure what it is that that number is getting bigger by, so I'm going to find it by doing the opposite operation of dividing. Again, remember I have to have a number above every number in the, in the dividend, there must be a number above it in your answer or your quotient. So I'm multiplying it by 30. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And 30 times 3 is 90. The correct answer to that problem is 90. Piece of cake. Good job. You're done.